Hey guys, welcome back to another video of DC Comics Legends, and today we're taking a look at the second of three new characters to enter the game. Today we're taking a look at Poison Ivy. Now, originally my plan was to get this video out uh, yesterday, and I tried to record it yesterday, however, there were some technical difficulties, and uh, the basically the recording uh, was corrupted and whatnot. So it's up, and then I think partway through my recording uh, program and that shut down like halfway through the recording. I didn't realize it, so I went through the recording a couple times, and uh, things went wrong. And by the end, um, I just didn't have time, so that's why it didn't come out yesterday. However, we're gonna do it today. Um, so I don't, you don't get to see there's, you don't miss out on much. Um, I've already leveled her up and all that stuff, so you kind of get to see a slightly stronger version of Ivy. And uh, you just don't get to see what happens when you uh, immediately unlock the character. But um, I'll try to remember. I'm trying to remember. I think basically when she came, came up, a joke towards something like I think our relationship is about to blossom. It was something about making a joke with Blossom because of her character type and that. So you didn't miss too much in that. But uh, we got her up to a two star already uh, playing through the uh, event or the challenge that's going on right now. We got to see... Um, I got her up to uh, two star yesterday. However, you guys didn't get to see that because again, had trouble with the video. Um, however, that just means I, I get to go through this stuff a little bit quicker because it's already level up in that, so I don't have to waste that time or I don't have to spend that time to do it. So I get to go through a little bit quicker. So, um, but yeah, starting off with the character design, of course, here is Poison Ivy. Um, it is a very simple design overall, just kind of a nice. Though it is a nice shading of green and whatnot, and it's got the plant design. Uh, to it. She's kind of got like it looks like some tattoos on her shoulders She's got some leaves in her hair and just kind of general plant designs on her legs and especially on her arms It's very very no, but other than that it's a very simple design um, overall I I'd say in general this game has some pretty simple designs, but ones that work, you know um, It just kind of fits with their theme, which is not bad, you know uh, But I mean other than design like if you just take away like the plant design overall there wouldn't I don't think there'd be too much to her suit But uh, it does look very poison ivy to me, but because um, like I said, we're gonna move through this pretty quick, so we're just gonna go on. We're gonna move on to the gear now. First up is exotic plant toxin, ups physical damage, uh, physical damage, critical chance, accuracy points, and AR. I'm actually not sure what AR is. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is leveled up a little bit, so originally it wouldn't say all this stuff, so there's a lot more to it now. Um, but uh, next up is pheromone spores up strength physical damage stamina and intelligence But yeah, I'm not sure what AR is I'll have to look that up later But um, we've got here biochemistry degree up strength resistance speed and accuracy points Next is a Venus flytrap pet up strength defense and stamina Next is map of Ivy's Caribbean Island ups physical damage, uh, agility, health, and critical value. I didn't actually, I didn't know that uh, uh, Ivy had a Caribbean Island, but I mean it does make sense. A lot of her plants are tropical plants, so I mean it would make sense if she wants to have like her botanical garden evil villain headquarter base. I'm not sure what you call it, but I mean it does make sense for the character. Uh, but last but not least is reforestation donation ups physical damage, stamina, and health. Um, it's just these these two, uh, the Venus flytrap pet and um, the uh, reforestation donation. I haven't gotten up to uh, rank two yet just because uh, I don't have the materials at the moment. But uh, moving on to superpowers, we've got snap trap ups damage and applies or sorry not ups damage it <laughs> damage and apply speed down to an enemy. I misread that completely wrong. That didn't mean to do that. Uh, pardon me, but. Uh, Next up, we got Pheromone Kiss, Apply Taunt, and Stamina up to a teammate. Next is Toxin Transfer, Apply or Heavy Heal on target ally. Move up to th three debuffs from the target onto a random enemy. Uh, next is Cross Pollination, Apply up to three random buffs from an ally onto the rest of the team. This one can be very nice, um, especially if, if you have a... Uh, a player who like gives a really good buff only to themselves you can then share it with the rest of your team that would be very nice to have um and last but not least is a passive ability anaphylactic touch 50 percent chance to apply strength down to enemies that damage poison ivy so um, i'm not gonna say too much because like i know what these attacks already do, so i'm gonna wait for that until we actually go into battle uh, before i start talking about uh what the attacks do because i feel if I, if I go on to give my opinion now i'll kind of uh, say what the, the character does already that, that'll make no point for the rest of the video. So um, let's take a look at stats now 
We've got uh, Strength 460, Agility 463, Stamina 464, Intelligence 470, Health 4637, Speed 58, Critical Chance 5%, and Critical Value 150%. And last but not least, excuse me, is the uh, the character bio. We've got Affiliations in Justice League. Powers uses seductive powers to manipulate and controls uh, plants to attack enemies. Doctor, Doctor, you know, I almost said Doctor Law yesterday, and I said it again today. Doctor Pamela Isley was a brilliant but academic until a deadly experiment twisted her mind and granted the power to control plants. Oop, too much power. Pardon me. Or pardon that. Uh, as a botanical biochemist, Pamela was subjected to dangerous plant toxins without her knowledge. Surviving the experiments, her mind became warped, and she gained control over plants and, her, and their toxins. With control over pheromones, her touch is both deadly and seductive. She now uses her plants to wage a radical eco-war to protect the environment from the blight of humanity. She considers herself the defender of the nature at any cost. And yeah, that does sum up the character in that. Um, she again is another scientist who uh, had a, an, a lab accident that resulted in her getting her powers. Though I think it was in the TV series The Batman. I'm not... Or animated TV series, The Batman, I forget when it came out, it was in the early 2000s, it was the one I watched, and, uh, Poison Ivy, the way she got her powers, I forget exactly, I watched a little bit of it a little while ago, um, she was just like a young teenager, she wasn't a biochemist at all, she was a teenager who, I, well, she was waging a war, or like an eco-war or whatever, trying to save the, the planet and whatnot, and I think think there's something like she got she got caught in an explosion got covered in um basically like some i don't know like radioactive plant dust i don't know what exactly happened to her i forget exactly and then she became poison ivy but she wasn't the biochemist that she was or that she is best known for at least <sighs> excuse me oh, excuse me i'm sorry um, for some reason i'm now yawning and it's bugging me i, I do apologize for that but um yeah, so I mean, today I'm a little thrown off because I've, I've already gone through some of the stuff and I feel like I'm forgetting to go over things because there's some stuff that I usually do that I are, already have done. And usually it's not like this, uh, it's just because yesterday we had some technical difficulties. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take her into battle. Uh, we're going to go into, as usual, an easier battle that way. <sighs> Excuse me. That way we don't... Uh, risk losing the character, man. I, you know, I I don't know what's going on. I'm yawning today. Like, I wasn't yawning until I started doing this, and it's really bugging me. But of course, right now, as you can see, I have my stuff actually still set up from yesterday. That was the last thing I did before I logged off, was I tried to record, um, but the things went wrong. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I have already seen the character, um, so but I don't want to really try to, not to spoil anything. Uh, but as you can see, she only has um, one attack. The rest of them. Gosh, I gotta stop yawning. Ah, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> this is turning out to be not as well as it was yesterday, but... Anyway, she has one attack, and the rest of them are stat boosts or passive abilities, um, which to me, that's not quite a character that I... or not what I quite like in a character. However, um, I was talking about this yesterday. If for a support character, she actually does turn out to be a very good support character. Uh, but what we're gonna take a look at first is Snap Trap her... Snap Trap her only attack... Uh, just a, oops, just a quite, uh, just a simple attack. She calls up a plant and it spews, I'm gonna assume, a toxin of some sort on the enemy and it also applies that speed down. So that's a very simple attack right there. Um, get around her again. We'll use, uh, we'll use the, uh, apply to, or pheromone kiss. This applies taunt and stamina up to a, or up to a, oh gosh. I am garbage today. Apply taunt and stamina up to a teammate. Man, I did not plan this out right today. We're going to use this on Siren. Yeah, there you can see she blows a kiss and it applies that to Siren. Man, I'm, oh, man, I'm off today. I am so sorry, you guys. This is not usually how this goes. I am just off today. Something I don't know what it is. Something's thrown me off today. Though, I mean, I, I was... <laughs> I had PE or PE today. I was super. We were working really hard. And I'm super tired after that, so that might be part of it. But I do apologize. Usually they're not like this. Um, usually I'm not yawning like crazy. But next up, we're gonna use Toxin Transfer. Heavy heal to target ally. Move up to three debuffs from the target onto a random enemy. We have no debuffs currently on Zatanna, who I'm gonna use it on just because she's lower down on health. But we're gonna go ahead and use this. Oop, that kind of sped it up there. Sorry about that. But it she calls. It's like she calls up a plant and it kind of surrounds. 
um, your teammate and applies the heal that way. So, now that we've seen all of them, I'm just going to go through and finish up this battle here just so I can stop yawning at you guys. I don't know what's up with me today. Usually, again, usually it's not like this. Um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish up here. Use a snap trap again. It actually does do a decent amount of damage on uh, enemy snap trap, but uh, just the fact that she has one attack for me, that's maybe not the greatest thing. Um, however, her supports are pretty good. Oh, jeez, I got stopped. But yeah, so her supports overall are, uh, pr they are pretty good. Like the heal, of course, it is always uh, have a heal. Um, the taunt, which I, I, I mentioned this or I, when, I, when I was trying to record yesterday, um, the taunt can be very nice, especially if you want a character who, like, almost, like usually when a character taunts, they t the character who taunts has the taunt applied to them. Like, they're the ones that uh, everybody starts attacking. Um, however, with this one, you can uh, pick any character on your team. So if you have a character who can't taunt, but they have like full health, and you want and you want them to be the one who taunts, you can do that. You can choose that character to taunt, which can be a, a very nice thing, especially if you have like a character like, for example, take Satana, and you're waiting for a heal, but she's low on health, and you don't want them to take out Satana before you can use the heal. Um, you can uh, apply a taunt to another character and allow yourself to use that heal, or if there's some other form, or there's some other stat boost that you want to use, you can use that to give yourself some time, and uh, it can be a very nice ability at that, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, in general, I'm just gonna kind of start wrapping things up, because I, I do feel bad that it didn't work uh, quite the way that I wanted it to, um, with the difficulties yesterday, but, um... Yeah, now that we've finished there's the end of the battle, um, that is Poison Ivy in DC Comics Legends. I do apologize, the quality of this video probably isn't as high as we usually try. Usually things are much better. So if you're a new viewer, um, I, I please ask that you uh, stay. <laughs> give me a second chance. Today was a bit of an off day for me. Um, but yeah, so that is Poison Ivy. Just overall uh, views on the character. I don't mind her as a support character. She can be a very uh, good support character if her... Uh, stat boost and her passive abilities that are timed correctly. However, um, I do like a character who has more than one attack, so that's something that will kind of draw me away from the character. But, um, yeah, I mean, for the most part, she is a pretty solid character, but, uh, yeah, I mean, in the end, it's up to you guys whether or not you decide to use the character, but let me know what you think about Poison Ivy in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of stuff, we got lots of it coming all the time and usually a little bit better quality. Uh, just because today, I, for whatever reason, I'm starting to yawn. And that usually doesn't happen. But uh, if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, again, let me know what you think about Poison Ivy or any of the new characters in the comments below. And last but not least, you can check us out on Facebook at Mr. Smiley Co. right there in the bottom right corner of your screen. Today, I feel rushed. I feel like I rushed this video. Usually, we go into a bit more depth, and usually there's a bit of extra stuff going on because we just got the character and whatnot. But, uh, again, te technical difficulties yesterday kind of messed things up. But, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be back to our normal standards uh, when we get on with the next video. But once again, thanks for watching. That is Poison Ivy in DC Comics Legends, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye